everyone, I want to welcome you to the Brickell neighborhood of Miami. This is also nicknamed the Mini Manhattan. So for all of those who have been watching our New York City live streams, you'll probably see some similarities from Manhattan, particularly Midtown, to right here in Brickell. So this is going to be a complete walking tour. We're going to be going all the way down Brickell Avenue. We're going to see some notable buildings. We're going to see the Brickell City Center. And we'll check out the construction site for the soon to be one Brickell City Center, which is going to be a mixed use building. There's going to be offices. I mean, there's just going to be an amazing, amazing uh, building. And there's so much construction and development going on down here, particularly spurred due to the pandemic. You know, everything was closed in the Northeast. You had cities like New York City, Boston, pretty much every city except you know, Miami and the state of Florida in general was open for business. So population absolutely exploded down here. So you're going to see just what all the hype is about as we begin our tour right here on the corner of South Miami Avenue. We'll flip over to the wide angle lens. What you're looking at right now is the Brickell City Center. You have WeWork in here, you also have KPMG. There's tons of bars, restaurants, nightlife, pretty much everything you can imagine is here in Brickell. This is the shops at Brickell City Center. This is an indoor outdoor mall. You have tons of retail, you have parking in the basement, you have restaurants. And the roof is very, very unique. It's designed to maximize the most efficient airflow. You have lucid motors to your right. You have the Apple Store on the second floor. And you have all these brand new restaurants. This one is called The Henry. So you have Lucid Motors on the ground floor. This is their showroom. You have a massive Apple store on the second floor. And you have this really cool outdoor walking bridge that has spectacular views of all of Brickle as well as Mary Brickle Village. Now headed southbound on South Miami Avenue. This is the SLS Lux Residences. These are really three of the most iconic buildings here in Brickell. I'd say the ones right here are the two most iconic. This Burger King on the corner of South Miami Avenue has been here forever. It just recently sold and in its place is going to be yet another super tall building.
To the left, you see all of those luxury condominiums. They have amazing views, stunning amenities. And now, if you look at some of the rents for one bedroom and two bedroom apartments, they actually rival that of New York City. So not only will you get the same kind of atmosphere as Manhattan life, you're also unfortunately gonna get the same prices as well. Over the last three years, real estate valuations and also rents in Miami have gone up quite significantly. the main driveway to the SLS Lux residences. Then you have Rosetta, the Italian bakery. You have gelato shops, restaurants. And even more restaurants here. Hey. Sure. Have a good one. And then you're gonna have Moxie's on the right. Which is a very famous bar and nightlife spot in Mary Brickle Village. Southeast 9th Street and South Miami Avenue. And this building that you see here in the distance is the tallest residential apartment building in Miami. That is the Panorama Tower. So we're now making the transition to Mary Brickle Village. Which has mostly low-rise style buildings. Officially Mary Brickle Village. You can have tons of restaurants, shops, you have a Starbucks, you have a Shake Shack all the way in the back. Take one more look, looking northbound.
There's tons of new businesses that are going to be coming to Brickle as well. One of which being Ken Griffin's Citadel Securities. Their temporary headquarters is in the 200 Southeast Financial Center in downtown Miami. But soon they're going to be breaking ground on their brand new super tall high rise office tower right here in Brickle. This is a big nightlife spot. It's called Sexy Fish. elevated track that you see is the Metro Mover. This will take you from Brickell to downtown Miami. And there's actually talks in expanding the Metro Mover all the way to South Beach. But I'm not too sure that's ever going to materialize. down by the Publix. The reason why they call it a mini Manhattan is because you have all these high-rise condominiums, but you also have in close proximity a lot of the commercial office space. So you can live within walking distance to your office you never have to use a car, you have public transportation, and you're within walking distance to coffee shops, restaurants, bars, entertainment, and so much more. This is a view looking at the SLS Lux Towers from the southernmost side of Brickell.
looks like you have more restaurants and a karaoke place across the street. You could also take the metro rail here too. And now, just a quick update on the public transportation. This is pretty cool. It's like a lone house right here. You're now able to take the Bright Line all the way up to Orlando, Florida. So the Bright Line can go all the way to Fort Lauderdale but now they've recently extended it and expanded it to all the way to Orlando. So the elevated track is the Metro Mover. You can see it right there. But just to the right, this is the Metro Rail. There's also tons of buses too. The bus can take you to South Beach, but it can also take you all the way uptown through North Miami and to North Miami Beach, which is just south of Aventura, Florida, as well as Hollywood. So this is Southwest 10th Street and 1st Avenue. And we're coming up on the Publix. And this is all brand new sidewalk. They recently did this, recently renovated. And under the metro rail, you have what's called the Underline, which is a public park. I believe they have a dog park there, a place for seating, and I think a basketball court a little bit further up. We'll switch over to the wide angle lens just so you could see the underline in a little bit more detail. So they have places to lock your bikes, water to accommodate your pets and your dogs. And they also have ping pong tables too.
continue to head east, uh, east. We will run into Brickle Key, which is a private island that is just off of Brickle in downtown Miami. You have beautiful views of the brand new Aston Martin residences, but also on the island of Brickle Key, you have the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, which is a five-star luxury hotel chain. They also have a location in New York City at 80 Columbus Circle, which is the new Deutsche Bank Towers, formerly known as the Time Warner Center. Here you have a Soul Cycle, but you also have an Equinox just up to the right. entrances for the residences at Brickle Heights which is a luxury condominium so we have Brickle Heights Tower just to our left then here again, you have Mary Brickle Village, Moxie's. We're going to make this left on South Miami Avenue. And then we're going to head back up towards the Brickle City Center. And we'll head over to the main business district where you have Bank of America Tower, as well as the W Hotel and Tower, or the Icon Brickle. how cleanly the city is particularly in Brickle that's one of the main things that drew me to the neighborhood when I first visited is number one the safety you always feel very safe here there's a big police presence but number two it's very clean very very seldom that you see any dirt or debris or garbage on the floor so not only the city of Miami, but locally here, they do a really good job at accommodating not only tourists, but residents and tenants uh, of the community and the neighborhood as well. said before to the left you have this Burger King and it's going to be completely redeveloped since we have the light we'll cross
Street is east. There's always a lot of long lines here, particularly at night. the back end of the construction site of Related's brand new One Brickle City Center. So Related has really developed a lot of buildings down here, not only in downtown Miami, but in Brickle. And the building that you see across the street is going to come down completely. It's going to be a full demolition and you're going to have the brand new One Brickle City Center that's going to be just an unbelievable super tall high rise that's going to complement the Brickle City Center very nicely. So over the next few years, I'd really say over the next decade, not only the skyline of Brickle, but all of downtown Miami is really going to be totally, totally revolutionized. The project that I'm most excited about just so happens to be in downtown Miami. It's going to be the brand new Waldorf Astoria Residences, in addition to that, right across the street from the 200 Southeast Financial Center, they are going to be doing a full demolition and in its place is going to be the brand new One Bayfront Plaza that is going to connect to the Metro Mover Station as well. the Brickle City Center Station and get the Metro Mover. And we'll look at some of the renderings of one Brickle City Center right here. Here you can see some of the renderings. It's going to be state-of-the-art Class A office towers with incredible views. I believe you're gonna be able to see all the way to South Beach it's going to be an amazing project. And again, by related. Take a look at some of those renderings. Could you imagine having your office here? It's unbelievable. And you could already see some of the demolition starting to take place too. And just for context, we are now on Southeast 8th Street and we are approaching Brickell Avenue. If you continue all the way down Southeast 8th Street, that's gonna take you to the bridge that will take you to Brickle Key. And the white building all the way in the distance is the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. That is the five-star hotel on Brickle Key. You also have 801 Brickle, which was just sold by the way, I think this, whole commercial office building just recently sold. So 
So this is really the main business district. You have a lot of banks here, financial institutions, right on Brickell Avenue. This building that we're looking at right here is the Bank of America Tower. And then you also have the Icon Brickell Residences in the distance, as well as the W Hotel and Tower. But we're gonna cross the street and then we'll take a look at the brand new Aston Martin Residences. There's a growing theme throughout Miami of these automotive sponsored, or I should say branded, luxury condominiums. I'll give you a few examples. Obviously, right here we have in downtown Miami, the Aston Martin residences. But if you go to Sunny Isles Beach, you have the Porsche design tower, as well as the Bentley design tower. And just newly announced, coming very, very soon, you could look up the official renderings online, you're going to have the Mercedes-Benz Tower. Now, Sirhant, who is a real estate broker, mainly out of New York, but he's expanding his presence here in South Florida, is the broker that was selected to run sales on the brand new BMW residences. Or excuse me, I should say, not BMW residences, uh, Mercedes-Benz residences, apologize. And that's gonna be right in the heart of Brickle as well. You have Nuveen here, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, 701 Brickle. So tons of new construction and a lot of new development going up here. Really beautiful landscaping all throughout too. Again, this is the building that is going to come down with all the graffiti on it. It's gonna be a full demolition and in its place is going to be the brand new One Brickle City Center. I'll take you all down here. This is gonna take us directly to the water and it's going to loop us around into the parking garage of the W Hotel and the Icon Brickle. There's lots of restaurants, tons of nightlife overlooking the water. It's beautiful. Maybe we'll even see some manatees or some sea turtles. We could just start to see the water now and coming into view on the right hand side is the Mandarin Oriental on Brickle Key and you'll also see the bridge that will take you over there. They're also expanding the river walk here. This is another thing that has attracted so many people to moving and establishing their residence here in Brickell, in downtown Miami. 
because you could be right next to your office working in all these huge skyscrapers. And then in the next few steps, you could be right here on the water, which is very tranquil and very peaceful, particularly overlooking the sunset in the evening. So you really have the best of both worlds. You have city life, you have nightlife, but you also have peace and quiet and you're right on the water. There's also all brand new seawall. This is all new that you see in front of us with those trees. They've elevated the seawall and expanded the river walk to curve all the way around. So this is all new, right where we're stepping right now. A lot of food trucks. It's like a little coffee and kitchen place. They really did a good job. This is actually the first time I'm walking on this new elevated seawall here. connect this right into the Icon Brickle and the W Hotel. Go to the wide angle lens just so you can kind of see what they've done here. So you have more food trucks, coffee shops, you know, places to grab a quick bite, and then you have all this brand new turf space overlooking all of Brickle with those big high rises, but also right on the water. So you can see here, this is the Riverwalk Trail Extension. You can tell it's a very family-friendly neighborhood too. You have a brand new outdoor playground 
So if you live in one of these apartments and you have kids, there's a lot of things to do that are family friendly. You can make a lot of friends in the neighborhood as well. This is a great restaurant here. You have both indoor and outdoor dining accommodations. Can you imagine dining here in this restaurant at night while the sun is setting overlooking the river? Extremely beautiful. Now you can see downtown Miami as well. So to the right of us is Brickell Key, but directly in front of us is downtown Miami. And this huge building right there is the brand new Mandarin, or uh, excuse me, the brand new Aston Martin Tower where the residence is. It is not yet ready for occupancy. However, they've already achieved a complete full sellout. So a 100% sellout. There's a very good coffee shop just over to the left. It's inside the lobby of the W Hotel and it is Panther Coffee. Their main location is known for Wynwood, Miami, and they just opened up a location in New York City as well. And here is a direct view of the Aston Martin residences. You can see the infinity pool hanging off the back. And you have stunning views looking all the way out to South Beach. And all of that is Brickle Key.
Now what we're looking at now is the Epic Hotel and Residences. There's a lot of sushi places and dining on the other side. Now again, we are currently standing in Brickell, but on the other side of the river is downtown Miami. And you can see the bridge that will take you from downtown Miami over to Brickell where we are. We have all of these yachts that are lined up directly at the Epic. And an interesting thing about the Aston Martin residences is you'll be able to park your boat or your yacht, go directly from your yacht up into your apartment. We're walking right past the Miami Circle. This is where the indigenous people, the Tequesta Indian tribe, this is one of the oldest civilizations in the world actually. There's really good documentaries and videos on YouTube if you just type in Miami Tequesta tribe. It's a really, really stunning story about the native people here in Miami. Okay, we're gonna make a left right here and we are going to be walking directly in front of the Icon Brickle and the W Hotel. And this will take us back to Brickle Avenue, looking down towards the Bank of America Tower. This is going to be the main valet section. So you can really tell the versatility of Brickle, right, and why it's so popular that so many people have decided to live here. Your walking distance to the office, you have public transportation that will take you anywhere around downtown Miami and Brickle, but you also have the bus that will take you right to South Beach. It's less than 20 minutes and you're right in beautiful South Beach. You're smack dab in the middle of a huge business district with a lot of startups. In downtown Miami, they also have Miami-Dade College, which they're making so many investments into computer science and tech, FinTech, uh, the cryptocurrency environment. So you have a collective of a lot of young people wanting to be here, enjoy this lifestyle, focus on education, So you have the hustle culture, you have the nightlife culture, but you also have a place to relax right at the Miami Riverwalk. If you enjoyed that narrated walking tour of Brickle, Miami, feel free to subscribe for more walking tours and if you, need a help, if you need help finding a place anywhere in Miami, feel free to reach out to us here at the Kirsten Jordan team at Douglas Selliman, and we'd be more than happy to help you find a place right here in Miami. Thanks so much for watching.